This video was recorded by an urban explorer who shared this short adventure on his channel Rafi Kishmu. He also uploads a lot of other videos there from his daily life, but the following one I find is one of the most interesting. This evening he found an abandoned house, so he states at least. It isn't exactly clear where this property was located. And he's no ghost hunter by any means and was certainly not expecting to find anything that would spook him that night. As he makes his way into the house though, he finds something unexpected in one of the derelict rooms. Let's take a look. I just found this abandoned house. And I think I'm gonna go inside this thing. Oh, wish me luck. He later stated that he saw the shadow apparition standing at the end of the wall and that it looked like as if it was flickering somehow. However, this was not picked up by the camera, which is odd. To me it appears as if that thing is facing the wall before turning around and then running after him. Could Rafi catch a real shadow apparition here that was on the premises for whatever reason? Or did somebody just play a prank on him if it wasn't one of his own friends? Who knows? Next is a clip from Mexico, which was recorded by a night guard in an office building. And it was sent to me by Ricardo. Nobody believed this night guard when he stated that poltergeist activity was unfolding in there. Doors closing, weird voices in the distance, and things being moved around without anybody being there. Tonight he just took over the shift from another colleague, when stuff is unfolding again. And he documented it, of course. Hey! Hey, ¿quién anda ahí? Le voy a marcar a la policía, eh. Esto es propiedad privada. Hey, tú, ven acá. Besides a weird face out of nowhere, the shower turned on, just like that. It would be a lie to say that our guard wasn't freaked out at this point. So the best for him to do was making sure nobody was actually there and then preparing to close down the office and get out of there. I mean, who wouldn't? Something is peeking out behind a box and scaring the man so much that he leaves the office immediately. But what was it? Unfortunately, the footage is really dark, so we can't be certain. Was it the same thing that he had captured earlier? A truly haunted place, perhaps. How nightmarish. The following video is quite the disturbing one. It was posted to the paranormal section of Reddit by a user named Remy Code. It can be suspected that she moved into a new home and ever since is becoming witness to some really inexplicable events. She states, I just purchased a camera because I've been hearing and seeing things in my house since moving in. Watch the doorway. First you'll hear a bang, 
Then I swear something is pacing by my doorway, into a wall and back into the living room. When I get up to see what's going on, light anomalies start flying around. What is that? Creepy, isn't it? But this unfolded more than once that night. The trampling noises get so loud at one point that Remy has no other chance but to wake up. What do you think happened here? I mean, we clearly see somebody walking in the hallway. First to the right, then to the left, and to the right again. It appears that a paranormal apparition must have made it into this home, or remains in there. But props to her for being able to sleep there at night at all. For some reason, the ornaments which are mounted to the ceiling seem to be moved, just like the plant underneath. And then watch between the clock on the wall and the picture. It seems to be getting darker there for some reason. And where do these noises come from? Creepy for sure, but what really took the cake is the following capture that Raimi could come up with. She states, the shadow person was in my bedroom, next to the door where I captured the video. Could it be the same ghost figure she had caught on video earlier? What do you think? Now we will look at another concerning case shared by a mother on her YouTube channel Karen Hozinga Sanders. She states that she received some really odd footage from a security camera which is mounted in one of her neighbor's kids bedrooms. It was captured this fall and the parents had been alarmed after seeing some odd light anomalies and even a voice. Karen hopes that viewers might be able to give suggestions with what they are dealing with here. Go to bed. Okay. <laughs> he said, quit hanging off your bed. Go to sleep. That thing is hovering over the bunk beds for several minutes. Some people say that it could have been a hare. Still watching you, son. But how would it stay up in the air and not slightly descend over time? Maybe this is some form of ectoplasm, which is part of a paranormal entity, possibly watching over the kids. Could that be? What is your opinion? Also, there are several orbs flying by. 
Was it only dust? Or something else going on here that night? The following video was shared by the team of AK Explorations who went to investigate the supposedly haunted Grand Opera House. The team had access to the whole complex and started documenting the amazing building, which stems from the 1800s. Let's take a look. I want to go up to a couple of them up top. Um, with 18 something? We're gonna go right here so we see this. Let's look out here on this side. Look. Relatively early into the night, they think to have captured the first odd event. Was it a shadow person that could have snuck by behind one of the curtains in the background? Nobody saw it at the time, but maybe this was a sign that even more was yet to come. I like the painting underneath too. Look at the little painting under the light. Almost fell over. I almost fell over again. Oh, let's go here. I wonder what like these doors go to one time. up there on the upper level that another ominous thing can be recorded. Take a good look at the stairs. Could it be another form of ectoplasm like we have seen in an earlier video today? Or is it simply a hair that was dancing in the air? Maybe you should check the rest of the investigation out on their channel. It's really entertaining. This is an update on the continuous haunting that Donnie Drunkard is experiencing in his home. In the past two years, he has filmed quite the number of terrifying events. Just to recap, a malevolent shadow figure is occupying his house, which he could even capture on film in the past. And believe me if I tell you that he had tried many times to expel this being in the past. I heard you. You are not welcome here.
in this particular recording. One of Donnie's stationary cameras upstairs apparently caught the shadow figure entering his bedroom before leaving it again while he and his dog Terry were sleeping. saw him too. You saw that too, eh? St standing about this tall. Rounded. It was a see-through black. Just mass. It was there for 10-15 seconds when I opened up my eyes. As I went to get my phone to record, it just went zip, zip it. Down the hallway. And the last scary incident we will check out today is paranormal activity unfolding in his kitchen. While a black flying object is recorded by another camcorder in his basement. Truly magnificent. What is your explanation for this? I do believe, Donny. These things don't look like they are caused by an ordinary human. Does his house contain a gateway, perhaps? Similar to the haunting of the lamb house? I encourage you to follow Donny and his channel. He has many exciting videos. This video was sent by Maria and she told me that it was recorded by a couple of friends from Rio Bueno, Chile. They were recording an abandoned old house in the neighborhood. Unfortunately, none of them had a good camera. So we have to accept that the video was recorded by Potato. Once they make it on the second floor, there is a really mysterious thing walking by at the end of the hallway. <laughs> Aquí dicen, cualquier nombre de los muertos, viste, ya quedan muertos aquí mismo. Hola, fantasma, ¿cómo estás, fantasma? Ahí, que entra arriba. ¡Ahora! Oiga, mira, viraciones. <tose> A tiny creature appears in the doorway. Some say it could be a halfling, others say it's the lower part of a manifestation. What do you think? There is Tomato Superman, who could come up with his own version of a ghost capture in an old pub. His thread reads as follows. Security footage from my walk a few days ago. It's an old pub that was a hotel before that. Hmm, we've heard that before, haven't we? I'm not sure what to make of it, as I'm a skeptic at best. Any thoughts? No, let's check that video out. Maybe it's even the same spirit, who knows. Turns out that this CCTV capture is a completely different story. A pinkish orb of energy is rapidly traveling up the staircase. And I don't believe that it is just a dust particle. Other viewers pointed out that the fast redirection of the orb is proof that there is something else going on. And I feel inclined to agree with that. What do you think? Maybe a former hotel guest? that is roaming this area at night. Now we 
want to take a look at the updated case of Mario Lara, who appears to have a grim demon dwelling in his party supply store. The activity seemed to be triggered by one of his oldest piñatas in the store, and at a certain point he was sure that that thing was possessed. He reached out to professionals and found a shaman that took the piñata off his hands, performed a ritual on it and disposed of it in the middle of nowhere. And Mario was hoping that he finally could rid of this terrifying haunting. However, things slowly started to get worse and after talking to his viewers and family members, one night he decided to get the piñata back in hopes the haunting would lessen again. Foolish idea, right? He streamed the road trip to the location where the piñata had been dumped by the shaman, live on his Facebook page. Let's take a look. Donde asegura este muchacho que que ya me va a entregar la la piñata, pero que no me la puede dar en persona. Me dijo que me la había dejado acá en un punto. Me dijo que que la iba a encontrar dentro de un carro. Este, entonces estamos eh, dándole para allá, pues. Eh, After a long drive on the lonesome road, he finally reaches his destination and leaves the car, hoping to find the piñata with help of the GPS coordinates. After finally retrieving the piñata, Mario makes it back to his car and stores it in the back. Seemingly a bit creeped out by the desolated area, all he was hoping for was to make it back home now, as fast as he could. Then, something chilling is frightening Mario so much that fight or flight sets in and he tries to make it out of there. Unfortunately, this causes him to crash his car. Have you heard this terrifying scream? To this day, it's unknown what had caused it. Mario was so afraid, especially after this crash, that a friend had to pick him up that night. But now let's take a closer look. It would appear that maybe the demon itself was responsible for crashing Mario's car in fear.
is the demon sitting right behind him in the car. Several days after this incident, Mario placed the piñata back in his store, and when recording inventory for his supplier, this was captured. Say what you want, but the spirit definitely seems to inherit this old piñata. Let's hope Mario doesn't get badly injured eventually. The following recordings were compiled by owner Veronica S, who at the end of this haunting journey had to move places due to the many paranormal events unfolding in her own apartment. Apparently, it all started with her having some strange encounters in the middle of the night. Strange noises, shadows, the typical strangeness. She's a single mother and took these terrifying events to heart. As a non-believer, she suspected some foul play and decided to install camcorders in her home. She had her friend come into the apartment one night. And this is when they captured the following. People suspect that it could have been a friendly spirit, of a former owner perhaps, but it gets even more creepy. The next clips have been captured the following nights. Doesn't this look like the spirit of an elderly lady? When they try to contact the spirit that particular night, the baby boy starts crying again. But what's even more terrifying is that the door seemed to be stuck shut and they had to use a lot of force to budge it open. take a look at the case of Ashley Kettering, who is a young mother and realtor, who shares her daily thoughts with the internet. However, something happened a couple of days ago, something that she couldn't explain, and that scared her and her kids quite a lot. For whatever reason, her CCTV camera captured something coming up the stairs from the basement, and she had no idea what was going on there. Apparently it was not a pet. I know, my first thought was a cat as well, but the family doesn't own any. So where does that leave us? After realizing what they had caught, she places the camera right at the top of the stairs on one of the following nights and captures this.
Even if that is a cat, it looks pretty strange, semi-transparent, I don't know. But what followed should definitely rule out it being an animal. At least that is what your viewers believe. So, is this house haunted? A possible spirit? Looks almost like a lady in a nightgown. Or a dress. Or was it something else? Thank you guys for watching. 